wanted to speak with you about um I know you do a lot of horror films and is that basically your favorite genre or mm, no I mean horror is where you kind of start I mean it's an easy you know as a young director it's where you get your best shot because not a lot of um, older directors will go into it and it's also a genre that makes a lot of money you know for studios so yeah. you get a good chance to go in and make a film and get a track record if you direct horror movies yeah. but uh horror is all what's cool about horror it's also a very director driven medium you know the director is really the star of a horror movie because oh, you have to like yeah, you have to like done. do all the techniques and how you know and it's very visceral and you create all of that I um, <laughs> and horror i think is also the most you know the most fun stories whether it's you know ghosts or murders or stuff like i mean Zombies. that's what you know that's the stuff that fuels your imagination as a kid you know Definitely. and so it's it's a it's an awesome genre i think every movie has horror elements in it you know whether yeah, it's true. like you gotta have that suspense yeah you know, whether you know, it's build up. star wars lord of the rings i mean peter jackson had tons of horror elements in his stuff or um thing you know you l even look at movies like black hawk down there's some frightening like torture scenes or stuff you know that come almost out of saw movies you know yeah I'm working on a film right now. Currently, it's called uh, "The Dying Dead," and it's the concept is pretty much you like your ordinary uh, zombie movie. But uh, I kind of mix the, the concepts of George Romero and uh, you know your 28 Days Later. Zombies. Oh, cool! So it's like fast, you know. It's there's so that's the thing. They go through different stages. Like oh, that's okay. the way I see the zombie. You know, they'll be infected, and they'll you know throughout that rage, their heartbeat it, it keeps increasing. And then when they like until they peak. And they die, and that's when they die again. And they get slow. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I know, yeah. That's why I called it the dying dead, because, you know, they're considerably already dead, but they're still dying in, in the process. So. Sorry, uh, I'm going to interrupt you. Hey, Jonathan. I'm a How chief photographer at NBC Kill. I head up there. Um, if you did, David did mention to you that you know, you'd be interested in doing some interviews with him. Yeah, I'm whenever wondering. you guys want. Fantastic. Uh, he's going. I'm gonna just have some uh, questions w with him, and then absolutely whenever you. Yeah, no problem. We'd actually like to videotape you interviewing him. Oh, and appreciate And then it. we'll videotape <laughs> him interviewing you interviewing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we'll do that too. So Definitely. We got a couple of cameras. We'll probably do. Yeah, whatever you guys need. Yeah, I mean, that's a lie, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so how excited are you about the next film? Uh, very. Wait, which one are you talking it's about? It's the, uh, mar the uh, alien attack. Yeah, yeah, oh, I can't wait for that. It's, uh, it's the exact type of movie I'd go watch on a Friday night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, it's basically Black Hawk Down with aliens, which is awesome. Oh. So, I mean, I'd go watch that in a second. Dude, I'm yeah, going to go over that. It's going to be awesome. It's a little reality movie. Now, there's another... Uh, that came out of Japan. Yeah, Neil. Neil. Blomkamp. Uh, is he the one that's supposed to be doing the... Uh He'd, they just shot a thing in South Africa based on his short film. No, did About you see the, the short film? Alive in Joburg. It's on like YouTube, Alive in Joburg. Is it with the alien? Yeah. Isn't he supposed to be doing the uh, Hateman? Yeah, they didn't... I don't think that's going to happen. Really? Because it was an expensive movie. Yeah. I don't know what the reasons were, but Neil went and shot a little, a big version of his short, which was a great short, which you can see on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. like very, takes CGI and puts it in handheld footage and it's really like Yeah, cool. I saw his short film that he did, yeah. the first one. It was pretty good. It was really good. And yeah, it was awesome. So it's, a, it's almost like we're t taking the same concept, like Iraq war footage. Right. That's the look of Battle Los Angeles, like taking those you know when you get footage is uh, footage on YouTube or whatever of like these will be probably some of the same stuff I'll ask you here oh afterwards. sure yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but do you see that there's a, a difference between the way that it's taught there in Johannesburg or how you learn to shoot there in Johannesburg as opposed to coming here I don't know I was just at a film school there for a year and then I went to NYU all right but um I mean, there's definitely different sensibilities, you know, like the thing is in South Africa, we got a lot of big movies, we didn't get a lot of little movies, so we were kind of brought up on Terminator 2 or right. your, your big Hollywood stuff, and so that's kind of what inspires you, because you don't see small films, we didn't actually get a lot of horror movies there, but um, I think what also influences you is what you see on TV and the news, and I think 
a lot of stuff recently on our news is Iraq war, like total yeah. handheld stuff. And so, it's more real well, that's what we perceive as real because that's what we see every day. Exactly. But like if in another country, I don't know what they show on the news, but it's just, you know, like if you look at City of God or, uh, you know, that director, the, the South American directors, the Mexican directors are used to seeing way more violence on TV and on the news. Like there's lots of blood and less censorship and that's definitely reflected in their movies. They're way more yeah, exactly. hardcore. The dramas, it's not necessarily a horror film. I mean, there's some scenes in City of God which are totally intense and it's just the different sensibilities of where you brought up. Yeah, I definitely, definitely agree with it. Kind of like that, um, as opposed to you have that Cloverfield look where you're shooting everything off one camera. And and I think the reason that film succeeded so much, you know, was the fact, just that perspective. Because if you go and look at one of the Godzilla movies, you know, when it's shot, you know, traditionally with... Yeah, it's shots. like I think people want to always for filmmakers it's like what can feel the most real and that changes uh, with generations you know the Godzilla thing was probably real a few generations ago but today we feel it's not real what's real to us is little video cameras and 9-11 you know and that's yeah no sound